Hi, welcome. We're back on Solus. A one proof. Gonna see. I have. I don't have Control Alt T. I dislike that. So I'll have to make a shortcut in this system to have that. Then terminal. Well, we have to go and look. Where is my terminal? Here, programming. No sound. No tests and tools. Here it is. So from now on, I'll go there. The look is still okay, meaning it's still the same look as I set it up in the system of Budgie. And I'm gonna do new fetch. As you can see, the variety is still working. I installed it on Budgie as well, it was working on i3 as well. So there you go. This is the system I'm on at currently, and it's called Desktop Environment Mate and Windows Manager Meta City or Marco. And we can inside this, it's a complete system. So I had to reflex, and I can change it later on somewhere in the systems. You can change whether you want Marco or something else. But let's take care of this here. So we go to the top, right mouse click, and control pressed preferences. And this time it's not nice to have it there. Or you put the menu down, that's also possible. Or you put this down. So normally in mate I'll do just this. And that's that. So now we can have here our well let's say the 80% of the time the applications you use the 80% of the time, so the Pareto principle. And every minute's uh, variety will give me some new wallpaper. So here's the Kaka Dropbox. And here's the normal Dropbox, being the Dropbox and Nautilus. So I'm not sure what they'll do, if they'll, if they'll fight. Dropbox is already in, running. So, and for the rest, well, we are not, uh, we have settings, we did settings in Budgie and in i3 regarding a theme and regarding the icons. Well, they forgot all about it. So you have to go to preferences, look and feel, appearance, and then set whatever you want to set but it's quite an um, astonishing thing in the mate and xfce is also quite practical in that way you can change a lot of stuff here so let's customize we've run a script on uh, eric dubois the github there is an arc darker evil pop theme and an arc darker orange theme so people from time to time and oh well, well these as well of course a lot of themes you can run yourself or colora sometimes you do need to run them yourself it's actually made for uh, for and on linux mint so everybody can just copy paste but when working on an other distro you really need to run the scripts and let the magic of uh, the github of horse 3180 do its thing so you really need to sometimes run the script rather than just copy paste but Let's go for, no, not white, arc dark orange like this. The window border, don't forget to do that as well. So arc dark orange is here. Icons, let's go for something orange, of course, obviously. This might do already. It's a little bit different, but it doesn't hurt. And there's other Sarti Colora, Sarti Flat Colora, all orange. As you can see, of as you already maybe know, Sati icons is meant for you to change colors. So you see variations of the same folder just with a script and hexadecimal code. Three seconds later, you have a complete other color of your folder. So you have a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna go for the Sati Mono Colora, which is these icons, Mono, and then a little accents with orange. Um, Close, no, the pointer is okay, breeze, no, mate, mate is new. So with the installation of the mate system, we have a new choice. And I do believe paper is extra as well. Anyway, I just keep breeze, no, I like it like that. And then you have backgrounds, you can add fonts, you can change. Maybe a good thing to make it a little bit bigger, 11. And also a little bit older than the most of my viewers, maybe, I don't know. But I'm making it one extra and see if it's <coughs> better for me. OK. 
Okay, so the thing you just really saw happening and all the rest you didn't see is this one. So the application font is a little font apparently from the top, but we should keep in mind that the icon should not become ugly and have become a little bit too big. So then maybe better. So that being said, we've already installed some of the stuff. Um, we see directly the effect. Here's my dark theme with the orange folders and with the dark background. It looks great. Not with this one. So Alt T, a keyboard shortcut that is not working. So I have to go to the keyboard shortcuts because I also want to have an uh, Alt Control Alt T to have my uh, terminal. So keyboard here it is. Layouts accessibility. Mouse key, tie breaking, no such luck. It shouldn't be here. So we're gonna look again. Oops, not this one. Get away. So hardware display, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, one down. Good, good, Eric, good. Add. We want to have a terminal. Damn. What's a terminal? Probably made terminal, but really, let's really be sure. So it was down here. Terminal. We have also Terminator. Why do we have Terminator? From uh, i3 we installed Terminator. I've uh, made it beautiful as well. So I'm just going to do the following. Mate dash tap tap. This is something you should read. This is all that what Mate comprises of. So this is what we have to check it out. So for instance the Mate screenshots is another tool to have uh, screenshots and here's the main terminal the windows manager itself the panels panel screenshots control center so okay i wanted to know what the name was so main terminal my answer has been given main terminal what's the command yeah, main terminal apply sure i'll apply it and then you have this key that's disabled you just press it ctrl alt t trying it this is my main terminal so as you can see it's not well not so nice at the moment in the mean i mean by that that i like transparency in my terminals so let's go ahead uh, profiles first nope not here profile preferences so use the system font nope Monospace is a greater uh, way, but it's too small for you guys to see it in a movie. Allowable text, blah, blah, blah. I always use more width for screen fetch and neo fetch and all that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Colors, whatever. Background, here we go. Transparent background, not too transparent. Scrolling, new, disabled, unlimited. Thank you very much. And that's it. So next time I'm going to press Ctrl T. Ah, I still need to get rid of the title. Where was the title again? Was it in profiles then? Uh, 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 uh. Profile preferences. Voila. Show menu bar by default in terminals. Don't like that. Uh, this is how I like it. New patch. This is the font is big enough. And here you go. So Alt T not working. Why do I always want to press Alt T? Because that is the, my way to trash the wallpaper. I don't like the wallpaper. I just wanted to delete that. So I'm gonna type it quickly. Another exercise in the Keyboard shortcuts, the variety, minus T. So the keyboard shortcuts I have made on i3 and on, uh, well, let's say, this, uh, again, the keyboard sh uh, shortcut I made on Budgie worked. When I go to i3, it worked. I'm going to mate and it doesn't work anymore. So it's another database, another place. It's kept. So 
have to make it again, Alt T. And now we can get rid of this Minecraft thing. There you go. Variety can be, uh, can be, well, it has variables and you can just type things behind it. Next, uh, previous, trash, favorite and all that. So on any of my systems, I will add that. So I can quickly do Alt T or Alt Next, Alt Previous, Alt Favorite and so on. Okay, anything else um, I should mention? So we have here the main system. We have here HP Device Manager, which is ugly, out of theme. Um, all the software, well, yeah, that's also important. I'm gonna do a clean install of Solus Mate. What do you see now? You see all the budgie software and the Mate software and i3 software together. So it's three systems in one. So you're not seeing the exact, exact thing that what probably I haven't installed it yet. You'll see on Solus Mate, but a mixture of all these uh, elements. And I've installed a lot of software, <coughs> which I've done in other tutorials on Eric Dubois. So a lot of software has been installed. All the elements from, let's have a look, it should be here somewhere. The software center, where is my software center? Probably here. Let's take a look. Let's just type it software. Voilà, software center. All the software from here, the third party, have been installed. I did install it, guy. I just don't know it. So it's uh, it's there. And okay, voila. So everything is installed. That's why I have so much uh, icons as well. But this one is an ugly one, probably an update I've got or something else. So I can show you guys how to fix that. So these are the called the hard coded hard-coded shit no hard-coded icons so I have a fix for that and it's called the hard code fixer very original so I am right mouse click where is my terminal there is no terminal present in this uh, system add my right mouse click so um, I have to figure out how to get there to get in the terminal not via this way I think Okay, I'll I'll get back to you about that and tell you how you should do that. But in the meantime, let's just keep going on. And let's ask where we are. We are on home, Eric. Okay, list. Where are we? Okay. Let's see D to data. Data pick A. And then go to ultimate. Ultimate solus. Here we are. So I'm gonna install the hardcore fixer. This one. It's no installation. It keeps in. The, it stays in a temporary folder. So whatever is going to be cleaned when we reboot. Changing and checking all the hardware. That would be nice. And let's hope, for the sake of the tutorial, that it does fix the HP. Sorry, didn't press enter. <laughs> oh, there you go, wonderful, 100% success rate. So fixing HP lib, thank you, hard code fixer. Thank you, Joshua Fogelong. Okay, so where was it again? The HP thing here it was. So now it's in, in uh, it's okay. And all we did was change an, uh, a path to an icon which was hard coded, which was going to user share icons and so on. Now we've just set it's HP or something like that. And when the icon theme has an icon with that name, there you go, it's fixed. Anything else, Eric? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? So this is the mate system, everything can be found here. Let's go over it so you see. What you'll get. Startup applications may be interesting. Preferred applications is interesting. Mm -hmm. the control center. I'm wondering, guys. Central centre. This is French. And I do believe it in budgie to be center. So take care and see 
Oh, that's correct if I'm mistaken. If, if you're mistaken. System tools. Mm -hmm. Programming. Can only recommend Sublime Text if you're going to change icon paths uh, yourself manually and the user share icons, then it pops up and gives and asks give me your password from administrator and sudo and then it gets fixed uh, rather than doing a long way around. Everything looks good and everything is installed, all new stuff. Uh, the Kaga Dropbox to check that out, but I'll do that on my own. Saluvo, education and accessories. Voila! So, nothing to tell you, I think. You've seen all the menus. Here are no menus present. Show desktop. Um, and all the th these things look normal. They look a little bit big to my taste. But uh, for the rest, everything is looking normal. Could change. I could change the last time for look in the field to something else. Icons go all the way down, surf and evil pop, and then go to controls and see we have also an arc, dark evil pop, like this, like so, arc, dark, evil pop, like so. And see how that looks. So another way to show it different icons as well. You like them, you hate them, it's a choice. And then um, voila, I think we're at the end. Icons have changed, the plank is working. I don't like cars, buy car, don't have the money to buy you, whatever. So variety is a nice uh, element of your uh, fine-tuning your desktop and here we have a movie i really like doctor who so that's it guys uh, have fun using uh, this mate on budgie